The president declared today, Friday 25th June 2021, a public holiday to seek God's intervention in the fight against COVID-19 infections. This is the fourth national interdenominational prayer session following the outbreak of COVID-19 in Uganda. Casting all your anxieties unto him because he cares. The president was joined by religious leaders for prayers at State House in Tebe. However, the prayer session came at a time when all places of worship and gatherings are suspended. As a result, prayers were held virtually, where some of the leaders of the various religious denominations held prayers via Zoom. We pray that you'll pour upon your leaders the spirit of interpretation and the spirit of excellence of God. No the day's guest preacher, Bishop Fred Sheldon Mwesgwa, who is the Bishop of Ankole Diocese, called for action against an invisible enemy and the lifting up of the spirit of Ugandans to remain strong and dwell with fear in the fight against COVID-19. By the way, fear. <laughs> in the first wave, there is a lady I was talking to. She's in Kampala here. She lost two, three friends. She told me, she's not a doctor. She said, I strongly believe these friends of mine were killed by fear. It's upon you to research, I don't know, but that's what she said. And her experience, I take it serious. I want to believe that there are many people who are dying because of fear. In his remarks, the chairperson of the Inter-Religious Council of Uganda, Sheikh Ramadan Mubadje, welcomed the idea of involving religious leaders in national issues. Sheikh Mubadje appreciated the security forces for their professional conduct during the current lockdown who, unlike in the previous lockdown, are exhibiting a high degree of professionalism in handling crowds and manning roadblocks along entry points into Kampala City and other parts of the country. However, he expressed concern over the costs of testing and treating COVID-19, especially in private hospitals, and called for government's intervention. Many private hospitals charge between Uganda shillings 2 million to 5 million per day. He also asked government to support local herbal researchers in the fight against COVID-19. In her remarks, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jane Rutha Cheng, admitted the scarcity of oxygen and also gave updates on more vaccination doses expected in the country next month. The country is expecting two more modest consignments of 688,800 doses and 285,600 doses in the first week of July and in mid-July. The president emphasized sticking to the strategy of reducing numbers and people getting crowded as the best way of toppling the virus until the vaccine and treatment is found. This is why we have got this new ep epidemic. Because when it started, I shouted to you, like... Uh, Bishop Mosco was saying that when, when, I, when you see the danger, you, you, you blow the, the, the horn in Zamba, Katerin Zamba. I blew the horn, you, you, me as your leader. On the 18th of March, I said, when I get too far, you're going to die. Please. This is how you avoid the, the virus. In New York City, more than 1,000 we are dying every day. For us, we are talking of 800 in, one and, uh, in almost two years. Why? Because we had listened. The president tasked the Minister of Health officials to explain why doctors' risk allowances were not being paid on time before assuring the health workers all would be fine. Um, one week ago, we sat with finance. They allowed us to use part of the money that was meant for something else, which I'm now using to pay all of them. So we are going to sort that one. So next. you are saying this is not salary, but the uh, 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 hazard, hazard, hazard allowances. Yes. If the hazard allowances, which are a top up, if they are not paid now, they will be paid later. You, you, the, the, these people are keeping the money for you in the bank. They will give you your arrears. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.